Welcome to Endorphasmic, where we talk about all things endorphasm. I am your hostess, Erica Porter. Okay, so my wonderful, I don't want to say he's my critique artist, but I do like when he listens to the podcast and gives me his feedback on what he thinks, but I heard him listening to it in the bathroom <laughs> and he's laughing over and over again. And I'm like, why are you laughing? I don't think that this was a very funny episode. So he said, I'm laughing because uh, every time you refer to the 14ers, you say 14 footers. <laughs> they're, not, they're not 14 feet. They're 14,000 feet. And uh, so they're 14ers, <laughs> not 14 footers. But I'm pretty sure that everybody understood what I meant, right? You guys knew that I wasn't climbing a 14 foot mountain. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, especially when it's a metaphor for life. And we're talking about how the climb is very symbolic to our lives and how we're climbing and it's ugly and it's scary and it's awful sometimes and beautiful and wonderful. And then you have your false peaks. And then you get to the top of this amazing 14 foot mountain. <laughs> <laughs> and how amazing the view is. And, uh, but anyhow, so I guess it's the small things in life. So now forever, um, they would be 14 footers as far as I'm concerned. Um, although I have made this, so I looked up that particular mountain and I was like, wow, that was one of the hardest things I'd ever done. And I was wondering because in Colorado, there are, I can't remember how many, but there are a lot of 14ers and, um, you know, there are people that have done them all. <laughs> and so I was like, oh man, that had to have been one of the hardest <laughs> ones. And so they rate them, I guess, in, in the world or in the U S the top 14ers. And that one was not even in the top 10. So, <laughs> so I kind of got brought down to a whole nother level of, uh, thinking I was a complete and total badass, which I still think that I am, but not as much a complete and total badass as I thought I was. I thought that this was like one of the hardest climbs ever. So I did, I did put on my bucket list that I do want to conquer one of the top 10 just to see how different it is. And I would imagine that the terrain is probably a little bit different. So it's a little bit more ice and, and snow covered or whatever it might be, but I'm going to do that. So that's on my list of things to do. This summer, however, I will be traveling. So anybody in like Maine and uh, in through Canada, Vermont, Nova, like Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, all that. So a lot of mountain biking through there. So I'm excited that we're going to be doing that. Um, but maybe we can put together some endorphasm on the road workouts so shoot me a message, shoot me a text, 310-634-5645, or shoot me an email, ericaandorphasm.com, and let me know if you are uh, anywhere in that general area. <laughs> I know I haven't told you specific, but I mean, that's kind of specific. So from, from uh, basically Cape Cod up through Maine, into um, Canada and Prince Edward Island and Nova Scotia and um, all of that over there. And then coming down and going into Vermont. Um, so that is the entire month of June and most of July. So talk to me, people. Let me know where you're going to be. Let me know where we can do an endorphasm on the road workout, whether it's outside or if you have a gym that you belong to and um, they want to host Erica Porter and the endorphasm crew, we will come there and do it. We're not looking for money. We're just looking to spread the word of uh, the endorphasm. And how amazing it is and how wonderful and the community that we are and the community that, uh, that we embrace, that is movement. So talk to me. All right. So this is Erica Porter with the 14 footer, uh, update over and out love, health and happiness and always much respect.